everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE action figure ranking video today, man. And we are back with a banger. And it is going to be the one and only, and actually somebody who just returned just the other night. I think it was a week ago at the time you're seeing this video. The Rock. The Rock has returned, and I don't know exactly what that entails. Is he going to be at Mania? I don't freaking know, man. I mean, it, it, when The Rock shows up, this is something we've been fantasy booking, we've been predicting, and doing all these different things, and then bam, just shows up on a whim out of nowhere. Probably has something to do with the new deal with the UFC and WWE merging together, but nonetheless, man, we're back with a brand new ranking video. Now, it's not a coincidence that The Rock returns at the time of this Rock ranking video because my patron members are the people that get to vote on these videos. So if you want to be a patron member, huge shout out to the patron members. Huge shout out to those guys right there. If you guys want to be a part of that community, a part of that army, go check out the link in the description below. But they get to actually vote on these things and they they chose The Rock. They chose The Rock, and it wasn't particularly close, so I don't know if maybe it's like a mob mentality. One guy votes The Rock, and they all follow. I don't know, but here we are today, man, with The Rock figures, and my God, buckle the hell up, Brad. It is going to be a long one because he had to get, sit with me now. This is only Elites and Ultimates. We don't rank Basics because all of them would be on the god dang bottom row of this thing. There is 31 Rock Elites and Ultimates altogether. Is that not absurd? I mean, I think that is absolutely absolute insanity. I'm excited for it though. I think we're gonna uh, have a fun time here. I, I hope that, you know, it's like, I'm gonna be honest with you, like off the top of the dome, Rock has a lot of very mid figures and below. So we'll see where the ranking stands, of course, but nonetheless, let's shut the hell up and dive into our ranking criteria over here. Now at the top, we do have the go buy it section. If I put a figure and go buy it, it means you should go out right now and put it in your collection. It is that damn good. Go grab it, put it in the collection, go buy it, purchase it right freaking now. What are you doing? Go and get it. Next up, we have good figure. Now, good figure means it's not necessarily must have, but it's not necessarily mid. It's like, you know what? If you put that in, if you had this figure in your collection, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt you on it. I'd be like, you know what, Brad? That's not a bad decision right there to put that in your collection. It's a good figure. It's not absolute 100% must have, but it's damn good and solid. And just below that, we also have meh, which is it's not particularly good. It's not particularly bad. It's just kind of meh. It doesn't do anything for me. It's very middle of the road. Certainly could be improved. <sighs> could definitely be a lot better, but it could also be worse. So that's where the meh tier comes in. After that, we have barely acceptable. Barely acceptable means you have one thing redeeming about your figure. Maybe it's a head sculpt, maybe it's an articulation point, maybe you feel good in the hand, maybe, you know, different things, different things going on there, but barely acceptable means you have one redeeming quality about your figure, keeping you from the bottom, which is going to be the garbage, which means do not get this figure, it's absolute awfulness, I don't like it, I don't want it in my collection, it was a complete failure, get it out of my face. So with those things being said, man, let's dive into every Rock WWE Elite and Ultimate Action Figure rank from worst to best. Diving in first, Brad. We have one of the more recent figures on this video or that has come out. We have the Elite 100 Rock figure. Lots of stuff to go on about this Rock figure, but uh, of course, in this line, I thought Elite 100 was very mid to begin with. It was a very big letdown for me personally. However, Elite 100 Rock, I'm going to put in good figure. The only reason this thing's in good figure is because the jersey's nice, the gear is nice, the Brummable Championship is nice. Everything about it else can just get the hell in the garbage. I hate the head sculpt and... Uh, uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. They mixed eras of rock for Elite 100. That kind of put me off a little bit. Uh, you know, it's a good figure. It's a good figure. I'm going to put it there. Next up, we have the Elite 14 rock. This might be the defi the definition of mid. I, I, I do not like this figure in particular. Is it barely acceptable, though? I'm going to put it in mid. I actually like the gear. I don't like the rubber shirt. I don't like modern rock figures with this torso that they choose for him. Because it's not accurate. It was not accurate for the time. In my personal opinion, I think that more Jack Torso fit this era of rock. And you'll see Mattel has a very inconsistent history. And in my ranking video of Elite 1 through 100, like taking the 100 sets and ranking them from worst to best, still a big project. It's like, it's one of those things that I had like a lot of life events happen that it kind of threw me off. But I get into more detail about the, the rock history in that video. But this is going to be meh for me. It doesn't really move the needle for me. It's, it's one of those that I look at and it just makes me sad so we're gonna put it there next up we have the elite 16 rock very very similar to elite 14 but not as good 
I'm gonna go barely acceptable. Uh, don't like the head sculpt on this. Don't like the rubber shirts. Don't like that he doesn't have cloth pants. This one doesn't come with cloth pants. It's a weird looking head sculpt. It looks like they just sharpied a beard on there. It's got a mic. It's I don't even like the gear, man. I mean, this figure is very just uh, just off. I don't like it. Uh, it. It has a case for the garbage. It's not good in my opinion. I, that's literally how I feel about it. Nonetheless, let's move on. One of the better modern rocks, man. We have Elite 22 rock. This one kicks all the asses, okay? This one's very good. It could be, I don't know if it's good figure or go buy it. It used to be my favorite iteration of a modern rock, but now it's kind of outdated because the arm is missing the tattoo. I'm going to put this at the top of good figure. Love the gear, love the, the masculinity of the figure, which is a weird thing to say right now. Love the championship, all those things. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Could go up to go buy it, but it's definitely in the good figure tier for sure. Next up is the Rock and Sock Connect rock and I actually like this one better than the elite 100 I think think they're very similar they're very similar but i think the head sculpt oh i don't know i don't know you get that cloth good rock and sock connection jacket uh i like the gear i'm gonna oh that's a that one and the elite 100 are very very similar to me they're very very close that one is a tough one uh I'm, i think i may have to come back to this one uh, let's just pause right now very good pack i love that two pack it's very damn good but i'm gonna i'm gonna wait right now let's move on to the next one we have the elite 47 is it elite 47 B or is it just straight up Elite 47? I can't remember off the top of the dome right now, which is kind of weird, but Elite 47 Rock. I always thought the head sculpt looked very Barack Obama-ish. Didn't really look like the rock to me. Love the, the shirt that it came with, but it's just a black and silver rock. Uh, I mean, it's... I'm going to put it at the top of meh. I really like that shirt. I've actually owned this figure so many damn times. Uh, I'm also trying to take in consideration like which rocks you would add to your collection personally. And this shirt is very good and stuff like that. But the figure itself, like, is it that is it that impressive, Brad? I don't know. I'm going to put it in meh for now, and I'm just going to roll with it. Next up, we have the Elite 69 Store Exclusive or Collector's Edition Rock, which is pretty much just the Defining Moments or the Legends Rock redone and kind of updated. Not, not like the standard of today update but it is pretty solid i mean it's it's middle of the road i'm gonna put it a little bit above the elite 47b or the elite 47 i can't remember again off the top of my dome it's not the best figure of all time like it's it's a solid figure i love the layup the smackdown shirt i like the gold sunglasses and the gear solid it's just it's a figure we had already seen and i don't know like i don't know it's just middle of the road it doesn't like change the landscape of figures you know what i'm saying so for that reason i'm gonna put it in the mess section and holy crap, Brad, we have the first garbage, the Elite 81 Rock figure. Hate this figure. Just hate it. One of my least favorite Mattels of all time. Um, just a lot of things going on with it, man. Just a lot of things going on with it. I love the tank top, actually. I do like the tank top accessory because it's cloth goods, but this figure makes me upset. It was so plain Jane, and it was so short, man. It's way shorter than every other Rock, and then they took this formula and put it onto another Rock that's going to be in this video coming up very soon. This one just made me sad. It's just the same damn rock head sculpt we've seen 600 times. It had the updated tattoo, which is fine, but it's single jointed arms. It's got the freaking Shane McMahon sweatpants legs, the John Cena feet. It is just one of those figures that I do not like. And the more I sit here and talk about this figure, the more I'm realizing how much I dislike the Elite 16 rock, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Again, we're going to do it at the end. At the end of the ranking videos, we always tally it up. We look at our selection and then we kind of recalibrate and see where things can go and fit and change and move up and down. So we will be doing that but I had to get that out of the way, man. That that shish right there is very annoying. Elite 81 Rock is just garbage. Moving right along, we have a modern figure here. We have the Top Talents Rock figure, which is I mean, this is basically the Elite 14 Rock except with a different head sculpt. It comes with the championship with the Brahma Bull side plates. It also is double jointed. I'm going to put this a little bit above barely acceptable you know you do get the double jointed arms you get the championship with the rock side plates which only came with his ultimate edition i'm pretty sure again i just I, i'm not a big fan of this gear it's just very bland man it's a very bland figure i'm gonna put it in barely acceptable i mean i guess it's like serviceable but it doesn't do, it doesn't check all the boxes for me personally with my rock figure man i want my rock figure to be jacked especially if it's a modern era rock or a more modern rock i think it's supposed to be more around the era of like 2013 right and i just think that this torso doesn't fit him for that
that era for me personally. So I'm going with barely acceptable on that one. Next up, we have the Attitude Era Rock, and then we have the Greatest Hits, which are virtually the exact same figure. I mean, for me, I'm going to put the uh, the regular Attitude Era in meh. And it, it would have been in good figure, but now the greatest hits figure is going in uh, is going in good figure because I really like that figure. I like the entrance shirt. I like that they went a little bit outside the box. I know the legs are very ugly looking. They have like an animated Batman DC ass looking pants going on, slacks, just weirdness. But I still like the figure. It's got the double joint. I think that's the greatest hits. The one that's shirtless in that photo, I think, is the greatest hits. And then the one with the shirt on is the best of Attitude Era. And the best of Attitude Era used to be in good figure, but now that the greatest hits exists, and it's the same figure with double jointed arms. I'm gonna put the double jointed arms in the good figure and drop below that one. Doesn't that make sense? Still gonna put that one at the uh, the top of meh for the Attitude Era figure because it's still good and it's probably better than these. I don't know, give or take, you know. But nonetheless, let's move on. We have the Defining Moments Rock figure, which is a it's a good figure. This is a good figure right here, man. I really enjoy that figure. Love the entrance shirt. Love the, it used to, I think it originally also came with the Rock and Sock Connection jacket that you see in the two-pack with Mankind. It has purple and gold tights, which are very sweet. It was very weird. He had like lighter brown hair, which was kind of odd, but at the end of the day, the figure is pretty damn good, and the legs were a bit stiff, but uh, I think that's a classic. It's one of those better Rock figures. It's damn good. I think uh, I think you're going to be very impressed with it. I think it, it would check all the boxes for you. That's a good figure right there. Kind of odd that we're, th th we're this many Rock figures deep, and we don't have any go buy it. I think we do have some coming up in the future, but kind of odd that we're this far and we don't have one just yet. I think that's kind of odd. Next up, we have the Ghostbusters Rock figure. Very unique unique, right, with the Ghostbusters gimmick. Was never a Ghostbusters fan, but certainly a unique thing. I'm going to put this one in meh. I mean, it's... <laughs> Unless you're a Ghostbusters fan, if you're a Ghostbusters and Rock fan and you just love the wrestling set, it's go buy it, right? The really cool entrance. I love what they did with this set, even though it's Ghostbusters and I have no dog in the fight. Still a really cool idea, and it's really awesome that they try to do that. And, like, very unique gear and, like, accessories for these figures, which I thought was awesome. I always appreciate things outside the box like that. But it's just not going to move the needle too much for me. It's me it's middle of the road. I, I don't I don't care, you know? I, I didn't even like... He also has, like, a paint it on shirt. It's very, I don't, it's mid. It's very mid. Next up is going to be the Hollywood Elite Rock, which is going to be Hobbs from Hobbs and Shaw. This figure, huh, I'm gonna put it in barely acceptable just because I like the uniqueness of it. And it is just the, it's the freaking Elite 81, but barely tweaked. I actually like some of the things going on with this figure, but it's still not good. They made him way too short. There's definitely things I don't like about the figure, but it's barely acceptable. You know, I uh, they made him too short. You know, it's a very weird figure indeed, but I'm going to put it in barely acceptable. It's just not going to move the needle for me, man. I, I, I like the uniqueness of it, and that is keeping it out of the garbage. It's just hard to explain, man. Those John Cena feet, those Shane McMahon legs on rock just don't fit, man. They don't fit. They make him too short. He looks very small compared to the rest of his figures, and that bothers the hell out of me. Next up is, what the hell rock is even that? I cannot tell what rock this is. What rock is this? Is this the Legends Rock? I think this is the Legends Rock, maybe? Okay, I think this is the Legends Rock. I'm gonna put this one in meh. And the more I put this one in meh, it's more like, why wouldn't you just... It's a solid figure. It's pretty much the Elite 69 Collector's Edition, the Walmart exclusive that we just talked about. Actually found that Collector's Edition on a Walmart toy hunt at the beach one time on vacation. Very memorable stuff. But it's pretty much the exact same figure, just redone. It's the same trunks. It's the same everything. They just gave it true effects, I think. And uh, I don't know. It's just, it's meh. It's not like horrendous or anything. You know, it could probably go in good figure, but I'm going to put it in meh. A lot of meh meh figures right now, man. Where's the go buy it's at? Where are they? You know? Moving right along, we have the Road to WrestleMania 27 Rock Elite, I think, with the I Bring It shirt. This one, again, is just, I don't know, man. It's, I, what do you want from me, Brad? It's just not, it's not gonna move the needle. It's got those weird-ass slacks on again. The shirt's cool. It's a very unique figure, but it's just middle of the road, man. It's middle of the road. I don't even, I like it better than the Ghostbusters Elite, I guess, but it's just not 
one of those figures that I'm like, oh yeah, bro, you gotta have this in the collection. I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just not the greatest figure of all time, man. I told you, the Rock figures, there's some damn good ones, and then there's a lot of them that are just in the middle of the floaty dodeo over there. I don't, I don't even know what the hell I just said, but there, there, he's got a wide spectrum of figures up here, man. Nonetheless, we're moving on to the Nation of Domination Kmart exclusive two-pack here with Farouk. Ooh, I'm putting this one in good figure. I actually like this figure a lot. I like the head sculpt. The only thing I hate about this figure and actually, I'm going to leave it here because of a few different reasons. I actually like the head sculpt. I love the gear and that it is a nation rock. But damn, they flip back and forth with that torso. This rock figure should have the, the other rock torso, not the gigantic one. And then it's like, did he lose muscle mass over the years to a modern rock? You see what I'm saying? It just pisses me off, man. Kids, just be consistent. And I know it's been years between, but damn, pick a torso and rock it. See what I did there? Next up is going to be the rock. Royal Rumble Elite. Why? Why would I want this? Barely acceptable. Could be in the garbage. I mean, Jesus. Honestly, I want to put the Royal Rumble Elite in the garbage and then keep the top talents up here because at least it's updated and all those different things. Oh boy. I'm putting it in barely acceptable. I'm not going to put something in the garbage that I don't have an actual strong hatred for. Just wouldn't make sense. I'm not going to just hold that against it there. I'm going to put it in barely acceptable. Just, what are we doing? I just hate it. Next up is the Ringside Exclusive Rock. And this one's cool because it has really cool tights. It came with the Purple Icy Championship. I don't think it's necessarily a need. I actually like the head sculpt, but I'm going to put this one in meh. Mm, I'm going to put it here. I just don't think it's like one of those necessary figures to have. Like, I'd say just go out of your way to buy the Purple Championship. Like, if you want this specific era of rock, by all means do it. But, I mean, it's not. It's got the overjack torso that the Nation of Domination Elite had from the Kmart 2 pack. It's got a good head sculpt on it. Like, it's a solid head sculpt for the time, especially. But I just, I don't know, man. It's it's not like over the top crazy. It's got the purple icy title, which again, if that's something you really want. And also the logo's wrong on the title, isn't it? So that just throws it all up. It's meh. I'm completely justified here. I, I mean, barely acceptable. It could, it could be barely acceptable. I forgot about the damn championship, which I guess they can't necessarily control, but could they control it, Brad? I don't know. Let's move the hell on. Moving right along, we have the Ruthless Aggression Rock Elite figure, man. <sighs> I'm putting this one in Go Buy It. I really like this figure, though, man. I really like this figure. Very unique, right? I don't care for the head sculpt, but I, I, a lot of nostalgic vibes going on here. Double jointed arms. They actually got the tattoo accurate. They used the right torso for him. He's got the Brahma Bull belt buckle. Very badass figure, man. I mean, I guess if you don't want, like, any ruthless aggression or Hollywood-style rock... I mean, you guess you could skip it, but this is a go-by for me personally. Uh, I don't, uh, I think that the legs they use could use some retooling, but that, that Brahma Bull belt buckle is so badass, and it's just such a good figure, man. I really enjoy that figure. That is go-by it. That's easy go-by it for me personally. Next up is going to be the Ultimate Edition Legends Rock Ultimate Edition here. Target exclusive. This one's go buy it as well. It's not even out yet. It's not even out yet, but you, when you when you have an opportunity to get this figure, you need to go get it, man. You need to go get it. The freaking sweats that he comes with, the gear underneath. The first Ultimate Rock was good, but this one has the freaking butterfly joints. This one is going to be one of the best figures of rock ever made, I think. It's the damn good head sculpts, damn good gear, damn good everything, absolute fire, just great stuff all around. You're gonna want to go buy that. I know it's not out yet, but I wanted to include it. You had to include it, right? So I went ahead and included him there. Next up is gonna be the four-pack Rocky Mayavia. I mean, it's a solid, serviceable figure. I think I like it better than the Nation of Domination two-pack. It's the same exact figure we saw from the uh, the Target Exclusive Elite that was way back in the day, and I guess I could pull that up already, and we'll put this one in meh. It's not, you know, there's no point, right? Like, I'm gonna put this one all the way down here because the new four-pack version exists with double-jointed arms. It's the exact same figure, but why wouldn't you get the update? It's a solid figure. You know, it, it checks all the boxes. It's a good debut Rocky you know, things of that nature. So I think that the old version is a perfect meh. I don't have any issues there. And then the newer one is good figure. It's a serviceable one. Absolutely all the way. 
I'd say punch your ticket right there. Next up is going to be the Rock Family 3-pack Rock figure. This is absolute go buy it. This might be my favorite rock figure ever made. It is so unique. You got the Hawaiian shirt. You got him in the khaki shorts. He's got the loafers on. He's got the watch on. And I know it's a part of a three-pack, but and, and it's not even out yet, of course, again. But I hope that that thing shows up like the Beast Incarnate Tribal Chief 3-Packs did at TJ Maxx. I'm going to be buying a shish ton of those. That figure is so damn cool. I love it. It was one of my personal favorite reveals we saw this year at San Diego Comic-Con, being there in person for my first ever Comic-Con. I popped hard for that. One of my favorite reveals. Such a sick-ass figure. Easy go buy it for me. Going to pose around great. It just looks great. Formula is great. Double jointed arms. Super fantastic figure, man. Might be number one. Might be my favorite rock figure that Mattel's ever made. That remains to be seen, but we're going to leave him right there and go buy it. That figure's damn good. Next up is going to be the Scorpion King Hollywood Rock figure. And I guess you could... I'm, I didn't put the Greatest Hits version in here, but there is the Greatest Hits version that's also coming. Or this may be the Greatest Hits version and the other... You know, the regular Hollywood Elite isn't here. Damn good. I love the Scorpion King. I love the head sculpt. Like, I kind of feel weird because it's like, should you go buy it? It's like, for me personally, it's go buy it. But for you, it may not be go buy it. So the more I think about it here, maybe I want to put this in good figure. Because it's. It, I'd understand if you had it. Like, it's so damn good. But is it necessarily go buy it? I think this is more fair. Put it in good figure. Even though it's so damn cool. It's got so many cool sculpts on it. And like, parts. And the head sculpt's phenomenal. Damn good figure, man. Really damn good figure. I'm going to say go buy it, but for the personal shots of the good figure ranking video right here, I'm just going to put it in good figure because I can understand where somebody would be like, why the hell do I need a Scorpion King? So in terms of action figure, if you like action figures and you like posing guys around and you feel in hand, very, very damn good. Go buy it, but for the sake, I'm going to go good figure here. Next up is the TNF Elite Rock Just Bring It from WrestleMania figure. This figure, I don't know, it's not horrific, but again, it's very weird. Like, they always do these weird formulas for Rock. I'm gonna put it at the top of Barely Acceptable. Like, I get, like, I don't know, man. I just, it's just one of those figures, man. Like, it's okay, I guess. The legs are very, it's, see, it's just changing. Like, these different formulas and stuff like that just really throws me off. They use John Cena arms on it. They use the same smiley face rock head sculpt. I'm putting it in Barely Acceptable. It's just a service like this is why these figures are just barely acceptable because they are serviceable rock figures there is nothing about it that is just over the top or just perfection so it pisses me off it's serviceable so it's barely acceptable they, they it's like they did just enough to call it a rock figure you know what i mean next up is going to be one of my favorite rock elites of all time and that is going to be the top talents version I freaking love this figure. It's pretty much the elite of this Ultimate over here, but it does have like more of an early 2000s rock head sculpt on it. It's so damn good, man, and it came with the uh, the red version of the jersey that the Elite 100 has. It's so good, man. Such a great rock figure. Feels phenomenal in hands. Got double jointed arms, I'm pretty sure. It freaking fantastic stuff going on with that rock figure. I like that one a lot. Next up is going to be... The Ultimate Edition Rock figure. Now, this Ultimate Edition Rock figure is going to be his uh, second Ultimate Edition. It's not his first one. It is his second. And this one's a good figure. I think that they could do him better, to be honest with you. Like, I wasn't a big fan of this torso. The head sculpts were a bit weird. Uh, it's missing the modern tattoo, which I understand why it's missing the modern tattoo. It's not an up-to-date date rock, but maybe we'll get an Ultimate to him. Uh, you know, that's more modern and stuff like that. It's a, it's a solid, good figure. I understand it, but it, it's not one of those that knocks it completely out of the park. So I'm going to put that one in good figure. However, his first Ultimate Edition is absolutely going in the Go Buy It section. This figure right here is phenomenal. Uh, just great accessories. It's, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's a lesser version of his newer Ultimate that's coming out, but the shirt's great. It comes with a championship. Fantastic head sculpt. Some of the best head sculpts you'll ever see on a Mattel figure. That's how damn good it is. And it doesn't have the butterfly joints and stuff, but it's still damn good. Just a really, really good Ultimate, especially one of the earlier versions of an Ultimate figure. That Rock figure is fantastic. Just such a good one. Definitely a good one. Next up is probably one of my favorite Rock Elites of all time, and it is the WrestleMania Elite Rock. Such a damn good figure, man. 
such a damn good figure. This is this is sweet as hell. I love the head sculpt. One of my favorite head sculpts I've ever put on a rock figure. Neck down's perfect. I, I love it. It's a great formula. Double joint arms. Feels good in the hand. Great base for an early 2000s rock. Just such, such good nostalgic vibes from that one. I love that rock figure. And then we're moving on to the last one. It is going to be the new WrestleMania 40 Elite Rock with the new head sculpt. Kind of gives me like G.I. Joe or Fast and the Furious head sculpt vibes. This one I actually am going to put in Go Buy It because I like this head sculpt a lot. Very modern. I think this is going to be a really good serviceable modern Elite Rock figure from the head sculpt and the championship and everything going on with it. I do believe they gave him inaccurate tights to be honest with you, but I don't think it's going to stop me in this juncture from putting it you know, any any lower. I really like the figure. I'm putting it in Go Buy It because I think it's that perfect modern era style rock. It's better than the Elite 22, which is very similar. You know, I think it's better than his Ultimate Edition. I think it captures rock better, you know, in, in terms of torso. It's not as ugly and things like that. So there's some different vibes going on here, but I think this is pretty decent. You know, I, I, I like all of these figures going on here. Um, his next Ultimate figure, I think, will be his best figure ever in terms of head sculpts and all the different things you can do with it. It's kind of a two-in-one, right, with the sweats versus the regular gear. You got all the great head sculpts, like the just bring it hands. It's so damn good, right? I mean, I think all these figures up here and go buy it, I have no problem saying go buy it. If you had these good figures in your collection, I would completely understand it. These meds are perfect. I really, I really think I've knocked it out of the park here today. I think I'm pretty satisfied with what we have here in front of me for in terms of our ranking style video and like ranking these figures, man. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our ranking of every Rock WWE Elite and Ultimate Action figure, man. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, definitely go click the link in the description below so you can vote on future videos like this. But that is going to wrap up my ranking, man. Lots of mid figures, man. Lots of mid figures and some solid ones. He actually has more solid ones than I was expecting. But I feel like he's got a good spectrum, right? You got the go buy it, and then you get into the garbage. But he's got some damn good figures, and he's got some ones that kind of missed the mark. But that is going to pretty much wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Let me know who else I should do down in the comment section below. And we're going to vote on it on the Patreon. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.